then we come to the different research field. If you if you are going for uh, suppose you have uh, enough CGP and you are qualifying for the um, PhD also directly, or if you are going for the masters. So uh, there are different research fields after chemical engineering graduation. So first is environment. So increasing environment awareness is creating new opportunities. So suppose uh, there there are you have seen there are lot of. Uh, uh, dye industries let's say for example so uh, day and night all kind of uh, stuff is going to the to the uh, to the land directly and they, they are going to bear okay so uh, environment is uh, in is the in this is the in field which uh, which is the very crucial so you have seen that uh, if, uh, you have heard uh, in this last two years um, Corona time, so we all are in the uh, Corona pandemic, and we all are staying at the home. Uh, all kind of industries are uh, closed. All kind of uh, uh, these uh, vehicles are uh, very uh, off in the off. Uh, no, no one uh, on the road. So uh, all kind of pollutions are uh, de decreased. So you have heard about that uh, the the pollution level become is decreasing this level. Okay, so. Whatever kind of things, suppose what what is what does mean in the pollution? Pollution means that whatever that already parameter have decided, you you are actually manipulating them. So suppose uh, I I need to drink water. Okay, so water means that there will be some minerals, there will be water uh, H two and some minerals. But if I am uh, putting some uh, dye in that, so that that will be not uh, allowed for me. Okay, uh, if I will drink, I I will be become it will be dangerous for me for my health okay so the same thing is with the environment also so whatever kind of uh, we are generating the things very uh, stuff uh, like toxic elements are directly going to the environment so we need to work on the uh, on the this kind of things so uh, so that we can save our environment so uh, to 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 remove the pollutants from the environment either from soil either from water either from air so you can work on a different field of the environment so it's very it's very uh, charming uh, field so next we do the chemical science chemical science means basically we do the uh, work on surfaces or interfaces so suppose um, uh, you have one uh, beaker of oil and you have one beaker of uh, water so if you mix together, uh, you will not be able. You you will see that there will be different level level of the water and different level of uh, this oil. So you you will not be able to mix both of these things. But uh, if you add some surfactant uh, in in it, so there will be head and tail. You you have uh, uh, read about these things in the I think in the seventh semester. So if you add some kind of surfactant, there will be uh, soft part will be added to the water and hard part will be added to the uh, to the tail of the that that surfactant. So th this is also a very uh, nice field for the chemical engineering to work on in the masters and gas phase uh, chemistry, crystallography. You you can generate some kind of crystals and then uh, work on that. Uh, so this is also uh, chemical science is very nice uh, branch. Then energy science. You you have seen uh, in uh, in the newspapers that uh, in the whole India uh, there is lack of coal okay uh, we, we have seen uh, all the uh, this um, petrol and diesel are the prices are very high in day by day because uh, the whatever the whatever the uh, sources are available at the ground they are diminishing uh, or they are reducing day by day okay uh, so they, there will be fixed limit of whatever suppose we have uh, 100 rupees in the pocket so we will expand uh, uh, day by day and 10 rupees after 10 days we will, we will not have any money in the pocket the same thing is uh, in the ground level there, there is certain amount of uh, uh, crude oil coal all, all kind of things are in certain amount okay so we are using from the uh, like last years uh, last many years we are using consuming it consuming it then it will be uh, lost it so we need to search on the renewable energy sources that, that can be renewable. So uh, this uh, all kind of uh, fields are like solar energy. You can uh, work on some kind of uh, uh, junction, PN, PN and junction type semiconductors. You can work uh, wind energy. You can uh, do work on that hydrogen energy. Uh, sorry, it's 
let me see right hydrogen energy you can uh, work on that uh, ocean energy hydro power geothermal power bioenergy bioenergy i have given one example that uh, you have uh, banana peeling and uh, you, you, are, you can generate electricity using microwave filters uh, you have ocean energy uh, you have hydrogen energy you can generate uh, hydrogen energy and then uh, that there, there are lot of associated fields like uh, uh, there are uh, catalyst for anode and cathode you can work on that there is proton exchange membrane you can work on that there is wind energy you can work on that so this is also very uh, growing uh, field and required field i i must say that required field because uh, energy must we, we, we all need uh, all the day then material science metals uh, it's uh, it's very uh, actually i will, i should say uh, it's tough uh, field uh, tough in the sense because you have to uh, structure uh of your material you you have to find out uh, different uh, properties performance of uh, your material uh, in in the it may be in the nanomaterials or uh, uh, magnetics or polymers or semiconductor so whenever you are going to find new materials for the different applications so you have must have the all knowledge like you must have the structure knowledge uh, that what kind of material will be will provide what kind of properties and that properties can be used in different applications so uh, it's very interesting i must say that I, it's very interesting but it's difficult also so you can work on uh, material science uh, field uh, in your ms or phd uh, then nanotechnology we all know that uh, that, that there are um, people are working on the nano robots okay so once you uh, you take the tablet uh, the nano robots go to the your stomach and they, they will work on work there so uh, people are working in at a such level that um, using this nano technology uh, the, there are tremendous uh, effect on the on the i am i say that in the research field so uh, there there are uh, suppose uh, i have a, a given example nano porous carbon material for membrane and catalyst so if you see uh, if you see the literature because of this these nano materials uh, target can be thing uh, can be anything like uh, you have seen that uh, suppose we will take uh, one example uh, you have the uh, aeroplane outer surface so uh, if you see the plane is a plane is uh, taking plane has speed around suppose uh, 300 or 200 km per hour okay so what will be the outer surface of the material it, it definitely it will have the nano materials within it so that it can sustain that much that much load or that much energy which is coming from the air so that it can sustain uh, uh, very nicely okay so these kind of things are uh, very interesting and uh, uh, you can do work in the your ms so i think uh, the, this is the one one of uh, this is biotechnology so biotechnology actually uh, i i should say that not directly linked to the chemical engineering but uh, in your uh, phd uh, or in your ms you can relate your work with the uh, biotechnology bi products so when you do some uh, replication systems rna dna and you are designing some kind of uh, product Uh, that that can be useful for the environment and uh, for the society also so that is not directly uh, connected to the tech, uh, chemical engineering but it, it is also uh, very uh, growing and uh, fast and uh, good field for the research then uh, i should say, say thank you for your kind attentions thank you